time all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe So I was going to start this video in particular because this is the first one. I was going to start with the Mariah Carey, it's time, you know when she screams, um, but I think that's a little bit too much and I don't want to scare you guys even more. <laughs> and I know this video is a Christmas decorate with me video, so I'm not going to go on about it too much, but we can't not address the dressing so if you tuned into my last vlog i explained what i was having done i've had co2 laser resurfacing done yesterday actually so i took the day off yesterday to have this done and i just wanted to say quickly thank you all for being so amazing like all your well wishes and your messages i was reading through them yesterday whilst i was feeling sorry for myself in bed and it just really helped comfort me um it was horrific by the way i'm not going to go into too much detail but basically i was crying i was shaking uncontrollably when it had finished emotion just overwhelmed me as soon as i would had it done because if you know me i am medical phobic i do not like needles anything like that so this is a real traumatic experience for me and if you're thinking well why did you have something like this done then you'll have to refer to my last video and i explain in detail why i had it done in the first place but um yeah we're on the other side we're recovering nicely this dressing is bloody massive it only needs to be this probably about this size so I do need to go and get some more dressings probably today because they didn't give me enough like I said in the last video it's not going to be all about me 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 and my skin I'm not going to go into too much detail I'm not going to show you either it looks actually horrific I'm not going to show anything on YouTube unless you guys want to see but if you follow me on my Instagram I will be sharing little bits of updates on this situation in fact I just shared like the rawness of what it looked like the day after this morning so i do apologize for the way i appear in this video i have to keep this dressing on for at least a week until it's healed so um yeah unfortunately this is me for now i hope it doesn't ruin your viewing experience i hope you still join me for vlogmas i also wanted to mention how unesthetically pleasing these videos may be i know it's christmas time but obviously we are still in the middle of a renovation like literally you can see the floor behind me it's awful <laughs> no it's not awful the walls are done and everything but obviously we're still in the middle of a renovation we're halfway through and you can't just rush these things and get the whole house complete just because it's coming up for christmas there's always something coming up isn't there so unfortunately this is a renovation christmas do you know what the vlogs that aren't as staged are the ones that i look back on with real fondness like these are the memories living through this christmas during this renovation in this house and we'll look back and we'll say do you remember this oh my god we had no floor down da, 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 da. so yeah as much as i'd love to have been in a position where there was nothing else going on and we could have filmed a really aesthetically pleasing intro it's actually not real is it doing it like that it's really staged and fake and I feel like we should try and be as authentic as possible. The realness and the rawness of the blogs are the ones that are more magical, in my opinion anyway. I'm gonna stop waffling on. We have got a tree to decorate today. I did try and paint the tree skirt in one of the last videos. It just didn't show up properly and the gray is still coming through. So we're gonna stick with the gray skirt this year. <laughs> Jingle them bells and frolic Oh my gosh, some stolly Eggnog, gin and tonic Make yuletide gay and jolly Same procedure every year I just can't get enough I drink till Rudolph reappears So, we did pick up the tree um, when was it? Last week probably because it was the only day that we had free with hubby off work because he has to get the tree in for me and that was the only day we could get it so it's been sat there for about a week it's been looked after it's still in its net 
and I've been uh, watering it as well, ready for this day. So my main job is today to get this tree decorated and set up really like festive and nice and then if we've got time we'll move on to the other things that I want to do around the house if not we'll just do them along the way there's no rush we don't have to have it all done on the first like the process to me is my favorite bit so um yeah let's see how much we can get done in this video and be realistic about it <laughs> So I am working with Timu over on Instagram. I don't have any obligations to post any of this on YouTube or promote Timu in any way, shape or form. But yeah, like I said, I am working with them over on Instagram. So make sure you go and follow me over there because I've got some really, really cool things to show you over there. So I'm going to spin you guys around and show you what I picked up from Timu to decorate with this year. Oh, let's have a little look what we've got. So the main thing we've got for the tree is these candles. Now I did do floating candles on the tree last year. However, I'm gonna do it slightly different this year because I loved them so much last year, but these are more elegant flameless candles. Now these are actually like Harry Potter, Halloween-y um, floating candles. LED as well, these ones this year, but I'm gonna Christmassify them. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So I've got a set of these, and these are, I think are 20, pack of 20 from Timu, and they're the cheapest ones that I have actually found. So um, yeah, I'll link these down below. In fact, I'll link all of the Timu bits I'm showing you in today's video. They also sent me some free gifts. These little wooden tea light holders, that's obviously a snowflake. And they've also sent that little star, which I think is really cute. So this is from Timu as well. I actually just picked this up for myself. <laughs> but if you're doing anyone uh, like a gift hamper bag, I just thought, what a cute little gift idea this is. Um, it's got a little leather handle, but look at it. It's like a tweed vanity case. And I just think there's something really, really luxurious about it. So um, until I get my Louis Vuitton Nice BB, this is going to be my little skincare bag. <laughs> what else have we got in here? Oh yeah, these are gorgeous. They're like proper brass. They've got little velvet um, bottoms so that they don't scratch your surfaces. And I picked up three, it's like a pack of three, I think. Yeah, a pack of three of those. And they're really good quality. And they're just like dinner candles. So again, I'll link that and we're going to do something with those probably in today's video. If not, we'll figure it out and use them in the next few videos. But they're really nice as well. They actually came really quick. Everything came really quick from Timu. So I think they're getting quicker with the delivery. I also picked up this gorgeous chocolate brown velvet ribbon and i just think it's absolutely beautiful okay so what i plan to do is make little bows out of this velvet ribbon and then i want to tie the bows to these the bottom of these candles and have them floating on the tree with the ribbons i just think that that looks really period period-esque doesn't it like it's very victorian it's very back in the day decor so obviously if you didn't already guess we're going with a the vintage theme this year so everything's like oldie worldie i'm hoping anyway i'm hoping to achieve that look i also picked up this ribbon now this one's not from timu this was a pack of two so i've actually got two but i absolutely love it look at the stripe and i'm gonna alternate the brown velvet with this brown stripe ribbon on the candles i don't know why but i think this stripe looks so lovely these are from where are these from amazon i'll link them as well down below I'm not sure what's in here but the main thing was the lights so here are my lights and i'm going to plug them in make sure they work and then let's unravel the tree and get the lights on so we've decided to keep the tree in this room, I think, because we're always in here. We come down in the morning, we have coffee here at the breakfast table and we have dinner here in the evenings. And then I'm upstairs in my room because it's not cozy enough down here for me just yet. So this is the only living space that we um, 
are in the moss. Now, originally, I would have wanted the tree in here, but um, it's just not cozy enough in here. This is the room, though, that I can't wait for at Christmas, but maybe next year we'll get to it. It's just so formal in here, so a really formal Christmas tree, maybe down here in the stairs as you come down. So that would be absolutely fabulous. So yeah, we did pick up the tree as you guys saw, and it's been sat here ever since. We always get our trees from the local garden center. We're gonna chop the net down. We're gonna let it rest. And then we're gonna get the lights on it. Like I said, I did try to paint the tree skirt into that Faro and Ball slipper satin. It's not done much. I did a, like a white washy effect and it's not even done much. It looks more gray than it did before, but it's okay. We're gonna go with it. Also, I wanted to point out, usually we go for a six, six foot, seven foot. Obviously this house has 10 foot ceilings, so very high ceilings. And I didn't want the tree to look lost in the house. So we've actually gone for, it's eight foot this one. And it's not as full at the top as I'd like, but again, we need to stop it with this perfection. Like it is a natural tree from the outside that nature has grown. Of course it's not perfect. Well, actually it is perfect. It's perfect just the way it is. And I just love the smell of it as well. Like the smell is incredible. So yeah, I went for an eight foot this time. And as you can see, there's still quite a bit of a gap at the top there. I'm always going to keep a real tree every year, but this house could have a few trees to be honest with you. I'm, I might want one in my bedroom next year as well. And I'm just loving the thought of full, fully decorating for Christmas in this house. Um, we're going to do our best this year, like I said, but next year is probably going to be even bigger and better. Oh, and it was £45, by the way. Making a mess. The smell. Like, make sure the branches are all out. Do you know what? I don't know what kind of tree this is, but it's not a prickly one. It doesn't prickle you because if you do have a prickly tree, um, I would suggest getting gloves. In fact, maybe that's one of the trees that the needles all fall off, the prickly ones. So we've got two lots of lights. I'm going to just plug them in and make sure they work. not gonna lie you guys this is not my favorite part i'm gonna pop you on a time lapse and we're gonna get through this as quickly as possible jingle them bells and frolic it's the best day of the year come fly with me now rudy i'm loaded so i've wired in all of my candles and I've got the velvet ribbon, so I've just done a little test and I can't do the perfect bow, but I think the fact that they're not perfect makes them look even more vintage. So that's what we're looking like. They're going to dangle from the tree like that. Guys, how nice. Oh, spinning, spinning Jenny. How nice are they? Oh my God, I think it's gonna look adorable. So I'm gonna alternate the brown velvet ribbon with the stripey ribbon that I got from Amazon. I'm just gonna tie these little bows to the candles and then we can hang them on the tree. How nice are they? Guys, I've got to show you these close up. They're so adorable. So I've done half and half, but how nice are they? <gasps> Don't they look really vintage? <laughs> I love them. And the fact that they're not perfect bows either. These are the velvet ones. And I'm ready to pop these on the tree now. Absolutely stunning. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days. Okay, so I've got the 
Okay, now we're gonna make a real mess. So I'm hoping to make a wreath for the front door, a fresh wreath. I've got these foraged um, evergreen trees, which I feel like, cause they're very drapey, you'll see what I mean, but we're gonna bunch them together and use, well, I'll show you what I'm gonna use. Let's get set up, shall we? Okay, don't you worry everyone, we will be cleaning up at the end. <laughs> I'm making such a mess, but it's necessary. The smell of these evergreens is just incredible. You cannot beat your own foraged Christmas decorations, I think anyway. So we've got the things out that we're going to need. I've got an over the door wreath hook I picked up from B&M. This was two pounds and it's in this nice gold color. And then I've got my little sharp vintage scissors. Um, so they'll cut through everything really. They're well sharp. I've got some Christmas ribbon. This was from b and I think it was two pound. It's nice and thick and it's a gold velvet, which I thought was really, really nice. And I might even use some of that stripy ribbon to contrast. So if we do a big bow and then a smaller bow in the stripy brown, I don't know, we'll mess about with it at the end and see what looks good. But I also, if you remember, picked up this natural looking one as well. This one's super wide. This one is from Home Sense and it was, $2.99? Was it $2.99 or was it $6.99? Also, how nice is my little um, wooden easel stand. This is from Timu. I'll link it down below. Right, okay, I'm waffling on now. Let's just get on with this, shall we? What a feeling now it's time for Christmas And Christmas is my favorite time of year It's beginning to look like all my wishes Are coming true, that's why I cheer I've been busy decking the hall I mean, it needs more security, but we're gonna hang it up. Look at the size of it, it's massive. Like if you bought one of them fresh in a florist or a store, it cost you a fortune and it was absolutely free. We haven't finished. I just wanted to gain a structure and a good like size reference. I'm gonna hang it on the wreath hanger. Then we're going to add a bow, most probably, and just secure it up a little bit more, possibly add a few more branches if it needs filling out anywhere. But how rustic and gorgeous is that, guys? The smell, I know I keep saying it, but the smell. Let's get this fabulous wreath on the door. I'm really proud of this. Oh! Guys, I can't do a bow. I might have to um, ha look at some tutorials later on how to create the bow out of the velvet ribbon. I'll give you a close up shot once we've finished, but it's really funny. I've just tied it in a knot and it's dangling <laughs> like there's no bow. <laughs> do you know what would be really good? A hair clip like this in there if you're looking for a bow. Maybe that's a good idea for next year. So I got these off of Amazon and it's a pack of 60. They're really good to have. I've got other things in mind to do with these pheasant feathers. So you'll have to stay tuned for more decorations as such. But I might just see, because there's loads in this packet, to see what they look like in the wreath, maybe. We'll see. I do like things just natural like that. I've got some orange slices and some cinnamon sticks that I could bundle together and add them in. I suppose you could add anything in really. Um, however, I'm just really plain and simple. I think that's enough, you know? Let's have a little play around and see. So I'll do half of it and then I'll show you close up and then you guys can tell me if it's nice and to do the other side. Like it doesn't need to be perfect because Nature isn't perfect. Okay, let's have a little look. So there's my little bow. Then we have these pheasant feathers. Do you like them? Shall I keep them in that side? And then obviously on this side, it's just normal, no pheasant feathers. 
I don't know you guys, I don't like them. No, I'm gonna take them out. Unless you really like them, leave it in the comments and I'll put them back in, but I don't really like them in there. I just want it plain and simple. Just the green will do for me. Guys, I have just literally broke my little mister. Had a little spout coming off it where it mists from. Luckily, it was only a couple of pounds from B&M, but that's unfortunate. Literally just broke it. Now, I wanted to show you this because, I mean, you can use any mist and spray bottle. If you've got greenery like we've just done the wreath and you want it to last a long time, just keep it misted and sprayed. Spray it down with water and it'll keep it green and fresher for longer. I think foliage can last up to about two weeks if you look after it well enough and like I said you can always go down and get some more and add to it tell me you do not get into your pajamas at the first opportunity because I definitely do especially at Christmas time I hope you're all feeling really festive and like I said I've got no plan for this year usually I have like a vlogmas plan and it's like every single day I'm vlogmas, I know exactly what I'm doing, what I'm filming. This year we're raw and we're real on this channel. So I hope you stick around. I hope that like, you're gonna enjoy yourselves with me <laughs> because it is what it is. Like I said, a renovation Christmas. We look like this as well. So, you know, not the prettiest, not the most aesthetically pleasing vlogmas channel that you're probably watching this year, but yeah i hope you guys stick with me guys how cute is my husband this morning he he's gonna kill me if i tell you this but he woke me up to singing a christmas song so every year he does this and on the first of september september every morning from the first of december he sings me a different christmas song every single morning because he makes the coffee in the morning does my husband because i am not a morning person so he picks up where i lack and vice versa anyway it just works for us that way so he makes the coffees in the morning and i don't want you thinking i'm really well i am a bit spoiled it does spoil me but um i didn't want you thinking oh my god your husband makes your coffee in the morning and then goes to work he literally does bless him i love him um but yeah i mean he'd be waiting forever if i was to make that coffee in the morning anyway he wakes me up every day with a coffee and in December from the first, he wakes me up and he sings me a Christmas song and it's like my little advent. He's gonna kill me when I tell you this. <laughs> he woke me up this morning to mistletoe and wine. So who knows what's tomorrow, but I right look forward to it. I'm like a little girl. I look forward to every single morning on Christmas because of that. So yeah, <laughs> I just thought I'd tell you that because it's really cute. What I do know is we have some unboxings in the next video, guys. I might have treated myself to one of my wish list items because I was so like poorly, <laughs> you know. I deserve it. Um, but yeah, I've got something arriving, so we'll unbox it together. But yeah, I thought I'd treat myself for Christmas and the fact that I'm like, you know, I was really brave and had had this done um i have been showing everybody on my instagram the updates every single day of the healing process um it's a bit gory though so i've been posting it to stories so if you're interested i'm not going to show you on the vlogs if you're interested go over to my instagram <coughs> um and you'll see the updates with the face situation but i should only have this on for about a week and then we can lose it so um yeah <laughs> every single night we watch a Christmas movie. I keep saying that I'll do an advent calendar Christmas movie, but I don't have a schedule this year. Like I said, we're all over the place. So um, I don't know what we're gonna watch this year. Usually I already know what we're watching on what day. Like we're literally that structured, <laughs> but I just don't know. I've got peppered beef cooking away slowly in the oven so it'll fall to pieces. That's part of my filling for a pie. So we're having steak pie basically this evening. Steak and onion pie. And then, oh, do you know what I didn't get? A bottle of Baileys, that needs to go on my list. As if I haven't even put that on the list. Oh my God. Like that's not even made any list this year. That's the first thing usually that goes on the list. But I've got some creme amaretto. Mm. Anyway, I've got some mulled wine as well, gingerbread mulled wine. I don't need to crank that up and it is Friday after all. Oh yeah, I might have a mulled wine this evening, a peppered steak pie with my husband, homemade and God knows what Christmas movie we're going to watch tonight, but um, 
yeah i'm gonna sign off here guys happy first of december thanks for joining me for vlogmas this year 2023 i will see you on the 3rd of december for our next episode bye guys